So, I had a couple people request that I show them how I sex my baby so early. Um, I start sexing them about 10 days, or at least that's when I check to see if I can sex them. It just depends on if the genitalia is going to actually protrude or not. If you have relatively small kits, probably not going to work so well. But if you're uh, if you're breeding for size, then your kits will mature a little faster. Just like they'll they'll get hair a little bit sooner. Um, I'm gonna set you up, and I'm gonna try to do this to where you can see it. All right. And I hope the lighting works out. But I think I got it. All right. So I'm gonna roll up my sleeves here. All right. I think this is uh, one of the smaller ones. This is a white. It's that same litter. So, let me show you what I do. Well, first thing I do is I kind of put the rear end away from me. And I flip them over like this. Put my thumb between their legs so they can't roll over. We kind of step out of the sunlight here. Alright, so we see our genitalia. And I hope it's clear. But you see the slit, right? Get where to focus. Alright, so thumb carefully on either side and you just apply a small amount of pressure and make sure their little bodies are straight sometimes you got to rehandle them make sure their little bodies are straight you don't want to hurt them apply a small amount of pressure slowly not fast you gotta stretch your little body out baby hold on he gonna fight me he gonna fight me Yes, he's gonna fight me. He says I'm upside down. I'm not supposed to be upside down. Alright, here we go. Ready? Pull that tail back. It always helps. And slow, slow, slow. Slow, so, so. We don't wanna hurt. Boop, there it goes. Now, can you tell me what gender that one is? Hmm? Any guesses? That's right. It's a boy. Now it'll go back in. Okay, make sure it goes back in. Don't force it out. If it doesn't want to... Woo! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Retaliation. <laughs> Just like a baby boy. <laughs> that happens, so you gotta be ready. Oh my gosh. Now, like I was saying, you don't force it. If it seems like, you know, it's hurting them... Put him back. Give him a couple days. Come back to it. Um, I'm going to put him in the box since he's already peed. And we'll get another one. Like I said, the bigger they are, the easier it is. The fuller they are, the more likely they are to pee. <laughs> okay, so here we go again. One. Now, see how this is more of a slit? And it's deeper. I'm going to try to focus my camera. There we go. See how it's more of a slit and it's deeper? Darn foot's messing with the focus. Okay. It's more of a slit. So I'm going to guess that this is a girl, but let's make sure. A little bit, hold the tail. A little bit of pressure on either side. And... Boom. Boom. Now, it didn't come out like a little taco, and it's more red. I wish I had better light. Let's see if I can't get that to focus. Come on, focus there. See, it's a girl. And she's not in any kind of discomfort. She's just chilling. But that's definitely a girl vibrant red color and it didn't come out a full circle just the tip of it will come out and I'm sorry about the camera quality y'all I wish it was better there's the one that everyone's talking about the little broken black otter let me get my hands steady looks like it might cooperate with us now this is a little more uh, stuck out and I'm kind of seeing a little bit of a glossy spot off to the side where a uh, 
uh, scrotum would be. So I'm going to guess it's a boy. Oh, yeah, and looky there. Definitely going to guess this is a boy. <laughs> okay, now let's have a little look. Oh, I am wrong. It is not a boy. It is a girl. That is most definitely a girl. Stupid phone won't focus. Focus phone, focus. Enoch, hush! Sorry, y'all, that's my Malinois. Come on, phone. Focus here. It does not want to focus. Again, pull the tail, keep a good pressure on that. Sometimes I'll pinch it between my two fingers to keep a good focus on it. Come on, phone. I don't know why it don't want to focus for me. Well, this ain't going to be a very good video if it won't ever focus for us, is it? I think it's focusing on the wire and not where we're wanting it to focus. Let me see if I can't fix that. Enoch, stop. supplies I have that I could prop this up on. I could try it like this. I don't know how well it's going to work. It's not very heavy. I don't know. I don't know how to other than to Yes, I know, I know. Let me stand on this side. Oop, now that one popped right out. See? Little boy. And you see these guys don't even have their... He's like, I don't care. <laughs> oh, this one's my favorite. The blue otter doe. And she's massive, y'all. I just... I can't wait. Hold still, darling. Y'all, I can't... I can't wait till that booty... Stupid phone focus. I can't wait till that booty grows up. We're going to go ahead and sex her next. Lay her back. Hold that tail. You got to move your foot, love. Nobody can see through your foot. Stop. Okay, got the tail. Apply pressure and boop. Now it popped out, but it didn't pop out. See that? Just the tip popped out. I wish it would let me focus real close. There. That's a girl. Put it back in. There's another one. 
black otter. Somewhere between fighting the babies, fighting the sunlight, and fighting the focus on my camera. I think this one was a buck, but I'm not sure. I can't remember. Let's see. Pull. Slow. Slow. Yep. It's a buck. Definitely a buck. All the way around. It's pale, not red. Push it back in. Solid blue. Now the hair off your face. Grab the tail. She's not wanting to lean back. She, he, I can't remember. It may be a boy. Kind of looks like a girl. And that is a boy. And it's a boy. That's a circle. I'm trying to get a close up on a girl. This one feels kind of full. It might pee on me. Another boy. I might get lucky and get a girl this time. I don't know. They were... Three boys, I think. This one kind of looks like a girl. I think this is the runt. Alright, here we go. Oh, that's a boy. We'll get one that we know is a girl. Big broken blue otter. We know she's a girl. Maybe now I can figure out how to get a close up of her. Grab that tail. You can kind of tell it's a girl. It looks like a line. And it's very red. Only the tip comes out. Alright. Getting them back in their box. And in the next couple of days, <clears throat> they're fully, they're a, uh, Got their full coats in, so imagine the next step is going to be opening their eyes and hopping out of the box. Say hello to Lois Lane. I bred her twice. She didn't take. I almost gave up on her, but that third time she delivered these ten and didn't lose a single one, so I'm proud. This one I got from uh, Chris Johnson at Cabe's. She was a little bitty thing. She ended up breaking her toe or had a shorter toe or so, something. But, uh, great mama. Great mama. So all these babies will carry chocolate because she is a lilac. So, you know, we got some otters in the mix. So, and I just bought that chocolate otter, Travis. So, should have some uh, chocolate otter babies in the spring or, I'm sorry, fall of next year. Just got to show these first and then we'll breed. Yeah. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the uh, 
10-day-old sexing video, it can be done. So, talk to y'all later.